But yeah, man, y'all know Carlissa got a lot to say. Carlissa got a lot to say, y'all. This is this is Carlissa, and she gonna be Carlissa. We call her Cloutzilla, Cloutlissa, okay, Mama Blue, whatever you want to call her, okay. <laughs> Check it out, man. Okay, this is day two, and I'm already down five pounds. Can y'all see it in my face? Can y'all see it in my face? Day two, I'm down five. Shout out to uh, Carlissa. Health is wealth. Um, that's dope. That's that's dope to hear. That's dope to hear. She lost five pounds already. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, 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 Carlissa trying to get that 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 body right. I ain't mad at you. Go be looking like a little older version of uh, Cali. Yes, ma'am. Hi. <sighs> oh, Jesus. It's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a long journey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm just out for my morning walk. I started at 188 pounds. I'm gonna check in with y'all every day. Damn, Carl, hey, hey, Carlissa's solid, huh? Carlissa almost 200 pounds? Dang. And I think she like, I think, uh, remember we looked it up? I think she like 5'7"? She ain't no little chick. Hold on, Carlissa. We looked it up before, hold on. Carlissa ain't no little chick. Carlissa Saffold height. Um, remember it said that she's five seven. Yeah, they saying that Car uh, Carlissa is five seven. Okay. So, uh, uh, and this is old then, because they put her at 143. So, did Carlissa gain, like, a lot of weight over the last couple of years? Because I do remember that interview that she had with, uh, with, uh, Krishan, and she was a lot slimmer. Her and Jaden. Yeah, I feel like over the last couple of years, they all gained weight on. Krishan used to be, uh, way, like, slimmer on the South Central Baddies and Bad Girls Club. Um, Jaden was slimmer. And uh, Carlissa, they all been eating good. That mean they been getting that money, huh? You said yes. Take care of your body. I'm a health nut. Yeah, y'all know me too. Man, five seven one eighty eight. Man, she ain't no little chick. Carlissa ain't no little chick. All right, she she pack a punch. So y'all can hold my ass accountable. How you losing weight? I'm taking my my new diet pills that I'm gonna share with y'all as soon as I see how they work. First, I'm walking. I'm drinking water. Are you just walking? Or I just started yesterday, y'all. So I'm just walking for now to warm up my old lady bones. So. I'm walking an hour uphill. There's some hills. How tall are you? I'm five six. So yes, I'm in the obesity bracket. I'm in the obesity bracket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Five, five six, uh, five six. Um, one eighty eight is crazy. Hold on. Uh, female BM. I 
five seven let's look it up all right so let's look it up if you five seven five six okay um let me see So Carlissa is five seven, five six. Um, healthy for her will be between one twenty one and one fifty three. So wow, yeah, she's she's yeah, she was right. Obese, dang. Overweight will be one fifty nine between one eighty five for her for her uh for her size. Dang, but look though, she's working on it. And that's all I respect it. She didn't do what Roly did. Roly, uh, man, that was crazy. That was crazy to even see that operation, right? Did, did, didn't go the easy route, getting this light bulb, getting all this, and then acting like you better than people. And you, nah, man. Carlissa is getting her butt up and walking and working out the old fashioned way, okay? The old fashioned way, all right? Yeah, so 56188, man. Dang. That's yeah, that's a uh, man, that's that's kind of big. That that's that's big. Um but for her, it don't at least it don't look bad because you know, it's all in the right places. Y'all know Carlissa got got hips and stuff. So she just looked, you know, she just looked thick. Like it, it don't look the same. It is it's not shaped. It's not a, like a biggie. It's not like a roly. You know what I'm saying? Um and, and and remember every everyone's like weight is you know goes to different places because remember when we looked up Krishan? remember when they showed Krishan like um um like her height and weight and stuff during her mug shot i want to say they said she was like 180 right or 160 is i mean, she was kind of man she was solid i think they said she was like 183 i'm like dang I'm like Carlissa ain't no. I'm like Carlissa ain't no. Uh, I'm not Carlissa. Krishan ain't no little chick. That's why she was beating up Blueface like that. Y'all, Blueface couldn't see her. And Blueface six four, and I still don't think he he weighed as much as her. Blueface ain't no two hundred pounds. Yeah, Krishan a solid chick, man. Krishan need to do UFC, for real. Krishan, yeah, yeah, yeah. They ain't missing no meals. That's what I'm saying. They they start making that money because if you uh look at Krishan, Carlissa, and uh Jaden just a few years ago, they were more slim. Y'all can tell they, that money start getting start coming in. And y'all know that's what that what they say, man. You start, you start, you start making some money, man. You get that belly, you start eating good. You know what I'm saying? Even Rick Ross. If you look at old pictures of Rick Ross, he wasn't as big as he used as he was, you feel me? Um uh, you know, in the middle of his career, if you look at the uh, the first video for hustling, right? Every day I'm hustling, and then you look at, uh, I think I'm Big Meech, Larry Hoover. Yeah, you can tell it's a whole different person as far as weight wise. He's he he eating good. All right, okay. Um, yeah, but yeah, man. Uh, shout out, shout out to Carlissa, man. I y'all know, man. I, I I show love, man. Regardless, at the end of the day. She working on it. She trying to she trying to live a hep, a happy healthy life, and she want to live long and be here and watch her grand watch her grandkids uh live. You know, she definitely want to see her um uh, see her grandkids live. Okay, um, cause they all young and she's just fifty, so she can live the next 30, 40 years and see her grandkids have kids. You know, shout out to her. I'm drinking a lot of water. I'm eating a lot of fruit. You're not old. You're seasoned, girl. My The way my hips hurt, I almost didn't come back out here today. Are you taking diet pills? They're not diet pills. They're... Uh, I, I have to learn all about it. I'm I'm about to do all my homework and research and then tell y'all. Dr. Sabi Guru is helping me. So I'm going to let y'all know about that part. It's 
20 pounds and you will be good. 20, girl, I was thinking more like 30. My husband, how many I need to lose, babe? About 20. About 20? 20 only going to get me to 168, y'all. Me, me too. That's still going to be heavy. Me too, about 20. 20? You don't need to lose no 20 pounds. Yeah, I got titties. <laughs> All old men got titties, babe. Carlissa, I actually like you on the show. You grew on me. Well, thank you, Deron. You grew on me too. I watch your show as well. Somebody said try 40. <laughs> okay, girl, let them know. I'm going to start off with 20 and see how it look. If it start looking crackheadish, then I'm going to slow down. But we're going to see right now. Because already, you can already see my little pencil head. On this five pounds, you can already see I'm I'm looking like a pencil head in two days. He said I got titties. Babe, why you tell these people that? Now they're gonna be trying to suck them. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> You'll be skin and bones at 40 pounds. I'll be 148. Yeah, I'll be I'll be looking like Jada Pinkett at 148. I gotta have a little cushion for the for the husband, honey. Can't do the 148. I was 148 when I was a, a young girl. Y'all see, I didn't have too much going on in the back. We ain't had none of them shots y'all be getting and all of this stuff y'all had going on, honey. We had to walk up some stairs every day. Santa Monica stairs. Who know about the Santa Monica stairs, girl? Carlissa, how's six out going? I unsubscribed because you never unblocked me. Uh, you should have told me on, on Patreon. You can't tell me on here. You see, it's two million people on here. You should have told me on Patreon, girl. I'm working on getting the cameras in the jail um, for the youth to have a conversation with my son. But this week we will be um, we will be having the cameras uh, up there with Callie before and after reunion. So if y'all want to get firsthand before and after the reunion, you don't want to miss. The camera's already pulled up. 169 is a good weight for you. Okay, we're going to see about that. I'm going to go for this 20. I'm going to go for it. Because y'all seen that when we, y'all seen on the auntie's podcast, I was the only one there sitting looking like a big B. Shit, if I lose too much, though, Tokyo might try to handle me. <laughs> I got to keep some of this on me. <laughs> That's the only thing that was keeping her at bay. <laughs> I stood up like a big mama. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Like, Carlissa, a solid chick. <laughs> you let her get a hold of you, man. Man, that's what I'm saying. She pack a punch, man. She ain't no little chick. <sighs> We've been posting episodes every week on time, every week, every Sunday for over a year now. So if y'all want to go watch the beginning to the end of all the madness, all the hell, it's taking a turn right now. We're going to see what's happened. It's taking a turn right now. I got the grandkids back. It's taking a turn right now. So if y'all want to go see how, how, how good and how bad and all the juice and all the tea all the episodes is still up matter of fact i'm gonna put season one on my youtube and probably season two on tubi because you know tubi paying a dollar for each view so if i get a dollar for each view on tubi and i get six million views you know what i'm saying i got a little plan i got a little master plan that's why i'm just racking up all the episodes all the episodes are good quality dang that's why Tubi be got be having all them damn movies, y'all. They play it. They pay a dollar per view. You know how good that is. That's crazy. I I didn't know that. I gotta start posting on Tubi, y'all. <laughs> y'all ready to make our Tubi show? What we gonna do, y'all? We need a Tubi show. Tubi paying a dollar per view. That's why Tubi got so many uh. Uh, shows and movies on there and stuff like that, man. They they running it up, man. Episodes. It's almost twenty thousand happy subscribers. 
She said she left because I didn't unblock her and she should have told me that on the Patreon. I talk to everybody on the Patreon every day. Well, not every day, but almost every day. We we talk private talk in there. They give me advice. They tell me what they want, what they want to see, and we make it happen. Me and Mr. Staffo about to start cooking on there for y'all. Some healthy meals, some dirty meals. You know how we going to do it. Some holiday meals. That's a lot finna be going on on Six Eye. We can ready to have Halloween and Thanksgiving, and we gonna show y'all how um a couple of nigglets from Ohio gets down, cause we get down. Me and Mrs. Stafford, honey, we gets down. Okay, we get all the poultry in there, honey. We get them neck bones going, them hog mogs, honey. <laughs> Shit, that pig feet, couple shitlings. We gets down for the holiday, okay? We going to see how many of the kids pull up. You know, his kids, they ain't speaking to us. My kids, they ain't speaking to us. They all got a hair up their ass. But that's okay, because me and Mr. Sappho waking up every day on the lake like God promised us, okay? Because he took care of his kids <laughs> with his last dime. When I met Mr. Sappho, y'all, we should probably tell this story on our little husband, husband and wife podcast. But when I met my husband... He didn't have matching socks. My baby had holes in his socks. <laughs> Babe, just tell the truth. Don't be ashamed of where we came from. You bro, he just be okay. Bro, she be dragging her husband all the damn time. And he cool with this, man. I ain't gonna like Carlissa just be embarrassing this man all the damn time. And it just seemed like he just okay with it. You know? I don't know, man. Carlissa literally just be saying anything, and he just be right there just laughing and giggling. You can't be ashamed because you have to you have to encourage people. Uh, we gonna go we gonna show y'all this house when we got married that we lived in. It was a it was a townhouse. It was a and it had no roaches or nothing. Might have had a rat here or there. <laughs> it was a townhouse in Ohio. When we got married, we made like what fifteen dollars an hour each? Well, I made like twenty two. You had two jobs, so you was really doing like 30. Then you had the military. So you was I think they said they only been married like eight years, right? Or 10 years? They haven't even been married that long, y'all. They have not been married. I want to say 10 years. Um, so wow, she just talking about what they was doing just 10 years ago. Okay. Just just spilling all his business, huh? I remember when she said that he had three baby mamas. I said, dang. You was pulling in some good ends, but anyway, we saved up and we got a, we got our first house in Grove City. All our friends came over. You know how they do your friends when you move up next to the white people. They is a little jealous and shit. You know what I'm saying? We was the first niggas off the block. They don't call us now, girl, because we on the lake now. They don't call us at all. <laughs> we just be sending them pictures from the lake like, going for a walk today. <laughs> But anyway, we lived in a townhouse and our rent was what, babe? $750? My husband lived in that apartment for 20 years. <laughs> he had three child support bills. He did the best he could do, honey. Um, what I tell you? Speaking on it again, I just said that, y'all. <laughs> Telling all this man business. He ain't got to say nothing because she going to say it. And I came along, so don't be shy to get you no man that's, you know, military, you know, that ain't rich. Because when when a man get a good wife, he going to be rich. That's what the Bible tell you. If he already rich, that's going to be his shit. And you're going to have to be arguing and fighting all these bitches for it. But if y'all earn that shit together, it got a deeper meaning to it. Me and Mr. Staffo do not look at our bank account other than to see, like, budget here budget there we don't i don't know what he's spending. i don't know what i spend he don't ask me i don't ask him the lord just keep it filling up every year every month every day we ain't never in our life had an argument over money lord please keep it that way because i know sometimes when you tell the devil he'd be like okay i see how to come get that bitch <laughs> You ain't gonna come get us by no money because we lived in a 750 dollars townhouse and we was happy wasn't we happy babe 
we was having more sex in that townhouse than we have now with that um plastic on the mattress <laughs> that you have plastic on the mattress i said uh-uh baby we're gonna take this mat this plastic off this mattress we're gonna start there girl when you meet a man if he got plastic on the mattress just take it off he had a two-bedroom townhouse he had both his kids living with him and was still paying child support i'm like no nigga. <laughs> we got to turn one of these off if they gonna be here she need to be giving us that money you see what i'm saying because when you get a wife then you kind of figure out like oh i ain't supposed to be paying her while they over here no nigga. <laughs> that's my money <laughs> You got to go down there and, and adjust some shit. They're going to be a little mad at first, but, you know, then everything works out. You know, then we can spend more money on the kids. Because, you know, we had three kids graduate high school. We had Ladrin, Jerique, and Blueface graduate high school all at the same damn time. Now, our little broke ass, you know, was trying to get prom clothes. Thank God it was just one girl because her dress was like $750. I'm like, girl, I could have got that shit downtown L.A. for $100. But, you know, we in Ohio, so we got to respect the budget. So, yeah. So, don't be ashamed to get you a regular hardworking husband. And remember, remember, this is the uh, this is the stepdaughter that don't like uh, Carlissa, okay? And she don't like Carl uh, Carlissa don't like her. Remember? She, uh, she recently uh, applied for baddies. Y'all remember that? She auditioned for baddies. And once y'all bond and y'all connect and y'all don't fight over money and y'all don't let the kids like I when I went into this marriage, I said, nah, uh, motherfuckers, y'all ain't running this husband off. I made sure he was big enough to handle Blue and Dre and Callie. OK, because Callie beat up my last husband. Blue ran up the stairs and he is. He said he didn't want no parts of this shit. We've been toxic for a long time, but we getting better every day. We getting better. But ass whooping ain't nothing for this family. You know what I mean? It just Mr. Sappho put him down. He said, uh-uh, I got military. I know some moves. I said, get them back. You know, because my sons be thinking, was thinking growing up, they was thinking this, this our shit. Nigga, this, this schoolyard. <laughs> this Harlem. This, this something. Nigga, this ain't that. This Carlissa. This niggas ain't paying none of our bills. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with this, but I know it's some mothers on here that's, that's understanding what I'm talking about when you got... She never know where she going with this, y'all. Carlissa just be rambling and then telling on herself. Carlissa crazy. Them big ass sons. Six foot four, six foot two. And your husband only five, five. What the fuck was I thinking? I said, oh no. The next one gonna be bigger than both of y'all put together. Shit, I went down there. I got on that Facebook. I said, I just typed it in. 6'2, big dick. <laughs> I'm lying, y'all. Y'all know I'm a comedian. <laughs> I'm really practicing on y'all. I'm practicing my comedy right now, but that's true. I did. I put in, I just started scrolling through Facebook. And, you know, I like them a little light. You know, that first one, that first dark one burnt my heart. So I, 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 I had no idea, y'all. I had no idea, okay, that she met her husband on Facebook. We learned something new about Carlissa. Every time she come on live talking about her damn life. Y'all, I had no idea she met this man on Facebook. Yeah, fuck that. I'd never, ever, ever let a chocolate nigga do me dirty. You know what I'm saying? I'm too I'm too fine for that. <laughs> so I did. I, I started with that vanilla, and I, I, I ended there. You know what I'm saying? And, um... <laughs> I done got all off subject. <laughs> Think about that. But girl, yeah, he's You got me messed up. The chocolate gang out here. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> Us chocolate ninjas need love too. All right. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> Is Carlissa trying to say I, I ain't got a chance? I think Carlissa trying to tell me I ain't got a chance. <laughs> I can at least try. Dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. Try again. All right. 
shit. I said, you know, I went and we talked about it. We pillow talked about it. We, I was like, you know, because I got a, a son in jail. You know, he a little rough around the edges and shit. You know, and I got blue. He, you know, he think he could beat up everybody. He only weigh 125 pounds. I think you could take him. But, you know, he, him and Callie, they be boxing every, every day and shit. Thinking they hardcore, you know, at the L.A. Fitness bench pressing 300 fucking pounds. Beating up all my husbands and shit. You know, Callie just got a hair up her ass one day. The man was yelling at me in my face. I'm sorry if you don't hear. He was yelling at me in my face. You know, Blue was like, what, babe? Like, maybe 12, 11 or 12. He was too young. He wasn't really active yet. He was kind of nerdy and in the sports still. So he wasn't like, you know, Dre and Callie. Dre and Callie was like L.A. <laughs> to the core. You know, he Dre, Blue just kind of had it on the surface. You know what I'm saying? He didn't really have to do too much because Dre going to pull up. Callie going to pull up with him. They friends. Damn, okay. Uh, for a lack of a better word, she's saying uh, Blueface was a square. Blue face was a square. But girl, why you got your kids fighting all your boyfriends and husbands anyways? Remember, Dre said that. Dre said that he had to be, he had to fight uh her boyfriends and stuff. You know? Y'all don't know what Carlissa put this uh put these kids through, man. For real. They treat her the way that they treat her for a reason. Okay. And it ain't going to be that much to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pull up. We're going to pull up. We're going to just pack the car out and pull up. Maine was with us. You know, once Maine got with us, it was shit. We was our own gang. It was me, Dre, Maine, Cali, Blue. Shit, we was the <laughs> we was the Section 8 Mafia. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> who bothered who? Who? Ch Cali come running in there talking about somebody chasing her home. I said, I know they ain't chasing you home. Who chasing you home? Girl, we would get in that car, lock up that store, girl, because at the time I had a store, so everybody knew us. Everybody knew the whole family had, you know what I'm saying, was a, a quarter short of 50 cent. You know what I'm saying? We They knew we already didn't have them all. They knew their mama didn't have them all. I don't know why these folks was trying my kids. So anyway, he got a hair up his ass one day. He started loud talking me in my face, spitting on me. Well, at least she admitted it, y'all. She basically saying uh they all slow all right they, they might be them um, but let me remind y'all bro when school was over when high school was done they just freed all the special ed kids out into the world didn't tell us who was who or nothing like that you know what i'm saying our whole lives in school we were separated we knew who were who we knew all right if they get the tripping don't even play them no mind they special ed you know what i'm saying after high school they let them out into society and we don't know bro so when somebody trying you just remember they probably them that's probably them right there, bro. Me and Callie laying on my lap. We just laying there. We just came back from visiting Dre. So we kind of sad. Our heart is kind of broken. This is a real live story. We like, can't believe we had to leave this nigga at that jail. And we just sitting there moping around. You know, he want to do the funky Watusi. Excuse me, babe. He want to do something. He want to get active. And I'm like, that's weird. My kids are here. Like, no. <laughs> And anyways, he started talking loud and Callie stood up and was like, back up. Can you imagine a, how many stories this woman got? She got a new story. How many men have Carlissa dealt with, y'all? How many men has Carlissa dealt with? Like, let's really talk about it here. She got a story about dudes and her kids fighting them and doing all this, doing all that. Like, what the hell? But got the nerve to be talking about anybody else as a mother. Come on. The nigga, you spitting on me. And then the next thing you know, he got in her face and was like, stay in child's place. <laughs> she was like, this my mama. Ain't no such thing as a child. She started doing her neck like Dre. Then she pulled up her shorts like, what up, cuz? And I said, Callie, no. What are you doing? She was like, he's spitting on me. He's talking all... Talking like, you know, because Dre in jail. So he really thinking like, you know, he could. And, and y'all know what's crazy? That's how you know Carlissa and Callie are twins. Callie talk just like that. Like, they sound just alike. Like, that, that's crazy. Like, she sound just like Callie, y'all. That's crazy. That's how Callie be talking on baddies. He could do what he want to do now because Dre out the way, you know, because Dre already had him in a corner sitting in a corner somewhere so you know Callie gonna pull up like she Dre now she like what up so next thing you know 
he pushed her like to sit down and I before I could even like react like hold on Callie this still a nigga like we can't you know what I'm saying we gotta plan this shit out we can't just be she just cocked back and was like boom I said oh shit we in this nothing I could do that's my daughter like he hit her back boom bust her shit like what no no come on bruh the 12 2015 yes okay um and uh have you been changed in any way for uh based on what's in front of you no okay uh you're on at this time the state now moves to admit sir um mr copeland um is it your desire to release your counsel at this point in time she fat she's fired okay so did you wish to represent yourself and the and and she's saying i guess blueface didn't have nothing to do with it since he was only 12 years old he was only a kid so so, so you telling me blueface was there uh looking like this that ain't got shit to do with me hey, that ain't got shit to do with me that ain't got shit to do with me, that ain't got shit to do with me. Come on, man. You got dudes over there and they fighting your kids, your daughters. Oh my but remember, remember, they toxic, y'all, because remember Carlissa mother said that Callie beat her up. Beat up her own grandma, y'all. So, I mean, they all crazy. Okay? They all crazy. So, the way that she talking, I guess he was talking crazy to Carlissa. And Callie got up like this. Chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> you feel me? And just start taking off on him. But we all know what Carlissa is. You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. Yes, for putting your kids through this, this is crazy, y'all. They got all types of trauma. Now it makes sense that why uh, Dre did 10 plus years in the penitentiary and now Blueface in prison. Okay? And she just be laughing at this stuff. This ain't funny. Bust her lip. I said, oh, no, nigga. I, I sat my shit down. We just... <laughs> We see John run upstairs. John run upstairs and get the um the fake BB gun. Me and Callie in this shit like, nigga, what the fuck is you gonna do with that BB gun? A BB gun, bruh. Blueface came with a BB gun. <laughs> Bitch. I'm 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 just I like. Y'all, this whole story is crazy. He like, I was gonna be the gun him. I don't know. I'm like, anyway. So he like flips me. I had to grab a candle holder. Like, I just doing we doing too much now. He about to I get the candle holder on boom, knock that nigga down. He ran out the front door. Callie locked the door. We called 911, and that was the end of the marriage. Well, that y'all ended a marriage that was your husband yes okay um and uh have you been changed in any way for you uh based on what's in front of you no okay uh your honor at this time the state now moves to admit carlissa you are an unstable creature Full of women, cub. House full of sensitive ass females dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. Y'all, she said end of the marriage. She was talking about this guy like he was just like, you know, I guess some, one of her boyfriends or a guy that she was messing with. Y'all, this was her ex husband. Come on, man. For one, that dude need to be in 
prison, jail, whatever. You know what I mean? That ain't cool, right? But let's be honest. Carlissa don't be saying everything because Carlissa be trying to make it seem like she innocent in these situations. If y'all don't think Carlissa up here uh, fighting this dude, punching him and all that, like, come on. She says she saw herself in rock. I wonder why. If you don't think Carlissa was a firecracker, especially looking the way that she was looking back then, oh, no, no, no. Come on. I already know. I, 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 I can see it. Carlissa was crazy. So that's how I lost my second husband. <laughs> he said, fuck them kids. You feel me? That's just what he said. He went to jail for like six months. I ain't going to tell his business. But you ain't supposed to like hit no kids in their mouth. So Callie's lip was leaking. His head was leaking. So you know how Popo do when you a woman. Like <laughs> it is what it is. You should have kept your hands to yourself. And when she says stop spitting on her, stop spitting on her mama. You should have just tucked your tail and went on upstairs. You know, because Drayden already got Callie like street, like she like valley girl, street girl. You you see how she's so torn in the middle, but Dre is in there somewhere. You're going to see it when she like, you know, she do that little face. It's like, oh, my God. Like he, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. So anyway, I tried to sneak around with him for a little bit after he got out of jail because he now he's scared of my kids. You know, blue. Game. You, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. This story is getting crazy. So after he did that six month bid in jail, you was still messing with him. You just said that's how you lost your ex husband, but you said when he got out, you were still sneaking around with him, bruh. Y'all, I'm just you are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. Oh my lord, y'all, we gotta start calling her Carlissa Rock. I think Carlissa a rockhead. Carlissa's a, a Rockefeller. Carlissa's an unstable creature. Carlissa's a Chris animal. Carlissa's a Chris stalker. What? A, what? 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 And taller and bigger than him. So now it's like for real three against one. But girl, we looking at blue like nigga. You went and got the BB gun. Thank God we didn't have no real guns. Cause woo. But I guess he was going to BB gun him, child. I don't know what the fuck. But he came downstairs with that BB gun and clicked it back. And I was like, you trying to make him think it's real? I'm, I'm lost here. Me and Callie putting in work, nigga. You better get over here. You <laughs> grab a leg and peach this nigga. I don't know. But anyway, I learned how to be a wife after that. And I learned that you cannot have um, teenagers and a husband. Your kids should not be fighting your husband. There's no reason that a 12 year old blue face should have to defend his mama from fighting her. But like y'all, this all makes sense. Now, the more we, you know, peel the layers back of blue face and Krishan's families, it really, it really puts like their trauma on display and it makes you realize why they are the way that they are. Okay. It's still no excuse. OK, and they're obviously in jail for reasons. OK, but it's like, dang. I don't care what Krishan went through, though, uh, doing what she did to that baby. OK, smoking and drinking while she pregnant, all that stuff. OK, and him having to get the proper care, medical care after she go to jail. No excuses. I don't care. I don't care what she went through when it comes to that baby. We team junior over here. That's an innocent child. But I digress. You got to wait. So I, me and Mrs. Sappho started dating, like, what was they like? Juniors in high school. And we just dated for like a year and a half or so, sneaking back and forth, you know, <clears throat> not too much in front of our kids. Right, babe? <laughs> I'm telling the story. <laughs> I'm telling our life story. They want to know what happened. He knows she be capping. I'm telling our life. What you over there talking about? Just, just be talking. Just be talking. Y'all, y'all, know that. Uh, y'all know that meme. Hold on. Um. Hold on. Y'all know that meme. Shut up. J just be talking. Hold on. Talking. Y'all ever seen that before? 
I, I this, 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 hey, I, I'm gonna download this clip, y'all. This one of our new clips over here on Great T News. All right. You keep talking, man, and you shut the fuck up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, Dick Gregory. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? (laughs) Y'all. Y'all. Rest in peace, Dick Gregory, man. You know, I wasn't going to let them, I wasn't going to let him beat up my kids or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, "Mm -mm, I got to keep this one. Shit. He got dental. He got medical. Y'all is not going to fuck this up for us. Okay. (laughs) Girl, I said, "Mm -mm." so we snuck back and forth for like a year, year and a half. And then he got, he started visiting with me, visiting Andre with me at the jail. I was like, oh, this a good dude. This a real good dude right here. So anyway, y'all gonna see on this next episode, I'm gonna cuss his ass out because for some reason I ain't got my my shit. I ain't got my shit, but I ain't gonna say what yet. Um, but yeah, that's how that played out. So um, we had a wedding. We had a very beautiful wedding. So God came through for me later on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Them fake ass, that bullshit I had before. I don't know what that was. It was practice. Them was practice marriages. It was practice. So you might have to go through some practice. Hopefully not, but you might have to go through some. So three baby daddies and two marriages was all practice. Yeah. Uh, I... You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. Okay. I'm practicing. And so Blue gave me away. Dre was supposed to give me away. <clears throat> you know my daddy wasn't giving away shit. <laughs> he like, bitch, I done already gave you away three times. I'm not doing this again. My daddy will refuse. So meanwhile. Long- right. That's a good point. Hey, smart man. Daddy like, hey, I didn't walk you down the aisle two, three times already. Girl, like, I'm not even going to somebody's wedding if they get married uh, for the uh, third time. All right? Just like, man, I'm, you know, you, you know, you know, after a while, you start, you, you know, you start looking at these baby showers like, girl, this our fifth baby shower. And your third, fifth, third, fourth, fifth, sixth baby daddy. I'm not coming to these baby showers no more, man. Bro, y'all seen that meme too? Hold on. I'm not <laughs> coming to another baby shower. Bro, can I find that? Hold on. Dang, I'm so mad. Y'all, it's a funny meme, dude. And dude, like, bro, I'm not coming to another baby shower. Dang, I'm so mad I can't find it, y'all. I'm going to bring it up, though. I'm going to find it, y'all. It's this funny clip. This dude, like, hey, man. He said, <laughs> he said, bro, it was like her sixth baby shower. <laughs> he said, bro, he said, where the food at? He said, yo, breath stink, too. It's stinking here. Why you invite me? Like, <laughs> who the daddy? <laughs> Long story short, he should have, because what are we, 10 years in now? And so Blue walked me down the aisle and gave me away to Mr. Sappho. Like, here, take her, because I'm about to go get rich, and she ain't getting none of my shit. <laughs> so, yes, it was like the little fairy tale story. You know, he had that, that VA shit. So, you know, we got a house right after we got married. Four-bedroom house on an acre in Ohio, you know, 300 and some thousand. So we... We was doing a little something, you know what I'm saying? We been doing a little something. Like Blue told you, my mama didn't need help. She already had money before I got famous. You know what I'm saying? So I was already kind of working my way up the ladder. And we had a restaurant called Buckeye Cheddar and Chili. So we was already on the map. Um, They just kind of following in my footprints. But that's okay. I'm so grateful to see, you know, them trying 
to do the impossible right now, <clears throat> no matter what. And that's okay. Dre, Dre, once he calms down with his PTSD, he'll get it together. And then my husband's um, both. I Well, I mean, he grew up with a mother like you, and he went to jail. He was in prison. I'm sure he got some PTSD. He's seen some things. His daughters is um, college graduates, and his son is a manager at his company. He, he's a homeowner with a new baby. So everybody is, everybody. We enjoying the fruits of our labor. We really are. I know it looks fucked up sometimes. It looks a hot fucking mess, but just bear with us, y'all. We rounding off. What is what the kids kind of simmer down around 30, 34 ish. How old was you, babe? Thirty five ish. <laughs> Before you start stop acting like a goddamn fool. Yeah, I was probably about 40. They might be late like me. You Wait, 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 wait. Can you imagine? Carlissa says she's calmed down since 40. And we see how she is now. Can you imagine Carlissa at 40, 35, 25? Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. You know she was an unstable creature. Like, I don't know, I had to find my audience for real. Who is, who is your audience? Big, <laughs> black, toxic, bottom feeders. You, you a hater. Y'all, yeah. she said she didn't calm down until she was 40. Your kids was grown at that point. Oh, man. Y'all, what's 40? She just turned 52. It's 2024. Y'all, she you telling me she just she didn't say calm down. She started to calm down in 20, 2012. Oh my lord. We worked out before I got on live. We already had an hour walk before I got on here. So we've just finna high tail at home, y'all. We finna walk home through the swamp. We gonna go through there. <laughs> We gonna go through that water. Look at it. It over there skiing and shit. We just watching the white folks like, damn, how we get a boat now? We need a boat now. See, that's the problem when you move over here with these people. Then you start wanting stuff that they got. You know what I'm saying? Like, now we need a boat. They just skiing in the morning and shit. Like, how y'all paying for this shit? Oh, this was a good... She said this was a good live. I know. We gotta start telling y'all more of our more of our in-depth secrets like that time <laughs> like that time um one of mrs fafo's girlfriends came up to the restaurant with her big ass thinking i was about to serve her now why would your ex pull up to get some food from your new wife restaurant <laughs> i put some dish lick with a net bitch hot dog <laughs> what come on come on Come on, Carlissa. That's petty as hell. That's petty as hell. I mean, did she disrespect you? Did y'all already fight? Because remember, Carlissa uh, admitted that she was fighting uh, Papa Blue, uh, baby mama, and ex-girlfriends while she was pregnant with uh, with Callie, who got a whole nother daddy. Y'all, Carl Carlissa's a hot-ass mess. All right? I put some dish liquid on the bun, y'all. This is, okay, I admit. I put some dish liquid on the bun. Some chili on the hot dog. She had dish liquid on her chili cheese fries. I didn't do it to her kids because I ain't that ghetto. But I'm looking like, now, why would you try me? <laughs> but anyway, Mr. Sappho caught me putting the dish liquid on there. And he made me take it and throw it away. So she didn't actually eat the dish liquid. But I was about to get a bitch dish liquid. I don't give a fuck. I was going to clean the hell out that bitch, okay? She going to come in there. Bitch, you shouldn't even be eating 300 pounds. <laughs> Big old booty. And this how y'all know. Let's say, I'm going to tell this last little bit of our business. This how you know when a nigga is. He going to act like he don't remember her name. Now, you know us. As soon as we see the ex or you know the girl that you used to whatever we all never forget that bitch we could be in church we could be in the mall hell we could be on our way to heaven we recognize her right you gonna recognize her like he thought I'm a new ex. I was a friend. I'm a new ex. nigga if you slept with her you she was the ex 
Now, if you don't sleep with friends, she was coming there to get some of them hot dogs, okay? We had chili cheese dogs. My grandma had a, an amazing chili recipe, and we was getting wealthy off of it. We just, the, the building wasn't giving what we needed to give, so COVID, we... COVID, COVID? No, it wasn't COVID. We left before the COVID, because my son got rich, and I was like, fuck, nigga, we got to get out here where he at, so we can get on. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> Be real. I ain't gonna never lie. <laughs> yeah, my I was like, oh, we got to sell this house and go. But anyway, we kept it. We, we doing a little something, something. But anyway, back to the girl in the dish liquid. So she come up in there. She order her food. I said, babe, don't you recognize her? <clears throat> no, I can't think of her name, but her brother, um, he going to try to tell me her brother name, right? I said, as soon as she hand me this credit card to pay for this food, I'm going to see who she is. She hand me her card because you know how y'all do. Y'all going to hand the card so we see the name. So she want to know if I know her. I act like I don't know her. I just go back to the back like Seagley on Color Purple and put that dish liquid <laughs> right on that hot dog, okay? So I look at him and I go like, come here in the back real quick. <clears throat> Y'all know her name? Oh, oh, yeah. It's a, uh, yeah, now you know her name because you see this card in my hand, huh? I forgot her name. You forgot her name, babe? You ain't forgot her name. Anyway, that, so that's what happened in the restaurant. You know, then the little half-baked was coming by there, the 24-year-old he worked with, driving around the building and shit. I'm like, damn, nigga, you got a lot of work, bitches. I mean, they is half-baked. She was like 24 years old. That's half-baked. Tell me, that's my friend at work. <laughs> nigga, big mama here now. We ain't got no friends at work. You tell that bitch, y'all is, no <laughs> is no longer friends. Girl, you got to get them together. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to get them together. And he was giving me a little bit of resistance. Mr. Sappho was like, why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> it sounded like Mr. Sappho was a player. I mean, he had three baby mamas. So, uh and and Carlissa used to fighting uh her baby daddies and uh boyfriends uh ex ex girlfriends and girlfriends and all this stuff. All right, you know what's funny? Check this out. Hear me out, y'all. Y'all know y'all know I be making the math be mathing, right? Hear me out. Remember we just did that live where Carlissa admitted that she uh was sleeping with someone's husband for thirteen years. Okay. In the midst of all of this, Carlissa seemed like she's always had a husband, right? She had Papa Blue, the other guy that, I guess, beat her and uh, Callie up and went to jail for six months. And then Mr. Saffold, okay? When, in, in, in this time, when were you sleeping with someone's husband for 13 years? Um, Carlissa was cheating on somebody, right? Ch Carlissa was cheating on, she already admitted that she cheated on Papa Blue, okay? She said that she cheated on Papa Blue um, and got pregnant and didn't know who the dad was, right? So she got rid of the baby, and then two months later, her and uh, she, uh, she got pregnant with uh, with uh, with Blueface, okay? So she just be telling on herself, okay? So which one of these husbands? Was it Mr. Sappho? Because 13 years is a long time. And coincidentally, 12 years ago was when you were 40, when you said you started to calm down. So in the midst of this 13 years, okay, when were you cheating on, Uh, when were you sleeping with somebody else's husband? I'm looking for that clip right now, y'all. Y'all know I'm going to find that clip. Y'all know I'm going to find that clip. But she was sleeping with somebody's husband for 13 years. Since at first, but then he seen that I was I, my crazy was a little crazier than y'all favorite girls crazy. So then he was like, "Shit, I gotta make a choice." Cause she kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah, my crazy was a whole lot crazier, girl. I'm, I mean, you know, at forty, what was we forty at the time? Like forty two, forty three. Like nigga, I'm not about to do the twenty four year olds. Like we gonna make a decision today. And at the time, we already married. <laughs> 
I'm already then relocated from California. I done already gave up all the California niggas to be out here with you in the snow. Oh no, nigga, you gonna be you gonna get it together, or I'm gonna get you together. She didn't say one California guy. She said all of the California ninjas. All right. Carlissa was just passing it out at this point. California love. Carlissa knows how to party. Carlissa knows how to party. In the city. City of Compton. She keep it rocking. That body rocking. All right, they shake it, mama. Then she had Callie. All right, that's how she got all them damn kids. So anyway, he gave me and he was like, she, he was like, she crazy. I'm just going. Hey, you remember you had a booty fetish when we first met? Everywhere we went, he always looking at people booties. Every big booty, skinny booty, no booty, he had a booty fetish. And you know me, I'm like, why does he keep doing that? Like, and I, then I started telling him, like, okay, cool, but don't get caught. Don't let the girl catch you. You know how we do. <clears throat> this nigga looking so long, he, like, took a mental picture. Six pictures. Girl, yeah, it was a mess. I had the first three years of marriage is going to be rough, okay? It's going to be holy hell. But you got to hang in there, okay? You got to get in that motherfucker and you got to ride that shit. It's like a, a, like a rodeo. You got to be like, no, nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You got to hold on tight. You got to fight. All your life, you going to have to fight. <laughs> on, he is a man. What did you expect? Girl, it was okay when it was the flat, scrawny booties. But then when it was the, the Shadonka donks, you know, in Ohio, they got the mean booties. Okay, they got booties in Ohio. They don't got out here. Shit, I couldn't take it. I'm seven years in, and it's still holy hell. Girl, seven, you, it's right, it round off right after seven. I was about to give up at six. So, so wait for that seventh year, baby. Hold on. Just hold on tight. When you get to that seventh year, it's going to round off. Okay? But you got to match. You got to be waking up early. You got to be, where your phone at, nigga? You got to be at like the prison board and what phone check, fool. Let me see that phone. And you, you got to stand firm. If he be like, nah, you ain't getting my phone. You got to be like, give me that phone. You got to make him late for work. You don't hit him. You don't hit nobody. Cause I tried that. I hit him and he did something to my neck and my neck ain't never been right since. So don't put your hands on him. But you so Carlissa is telling on herself. I told y'all she's the type to put her hands on you. She's the type to put her hands on you. I told y'all. She's not the innocent in probably majority of these situations. Okay. But every now and then she tells on herself. Okay. She said, yeah, I tried to hit him. Oh, okay. So you're one of those. You, you like to just put your hands on people. Right. Okay, y'all know I'm an advocate for peace regardless. Just leave each other at this point. Man shouldn't be putting on his hand on uh hands on women. Women shouldn't be putting her hands on men, and vice versa. Period. Like it never it because people are crazy. You can never um you can't predict how people's gonna how other people is gonna react. You know what I'm saying? People are crazy nowadays. You put your hands on somebody, man. They might you know they might unalive you. You know, it's scary, right? But look, Carlissa ain't ish, okay? The math ain't mathing. You you admitted that you were sleeping with somebody's husband for 13 years. So when was this? You had three husbands and you admitted that you cheated on Papa Blue and had a, and almost had a baby. And it was a long time, but I never, ever, 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 ever tried. I messed with somebody's husband one time. 
and it was a long time, but I never, ever, 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 ever tried to hurt that lady. I never told that lady. I never tried to sneak them, sneak them, make them leave her or none of that. I just was trying to share some of their money. That was all I knew better than to try to make him my man. That was her man. That was her husband. I just was borrowing a couple of their dollars. That's all. Now, I was in my 20s and I was and I, I know you was borrowing a couple of dollars. So, Carlissa, you were selling cat. It sounds like she was selling cat, y'all. I mean, unless I'm just hearing things right, that don't sound like she was for sale. I, but I digress. My bad. I'm using logic. My bad. No better now not to do that. And I hope and pray it don't come on me with Mr. Sappho and somebody come use my husband and my money. You know what I'm saying? But that do cross my mind sometimes because that was not right. And you going to read even when my son went to jail for them 13 years because I messed with that man for 13 years. I said, Laura, was that my punishment? Because I messed with that man for 13 years. So when you know when you deal with. Let's talk about it, y'all. This woman is crazy. OK. You wake up and you be ready on guard, bitch. Do you hear me? You guard your shit, especially if it's worth. <laughs> if it's worth something. But you got to be their peace, too. You only do that in the morning before they go to work. It's like when you get your kids up for school and you send them to school. They got to have that shit on their mind. I got to go home to this crazy bitch. <laughs> you got to keep it on their mind. But then when they get home, you had a house clean. You work out because you can't be no blubber fat bitch. That you, you can't you can't have no fine husband and be over there looking like Pillsbury Dough Girl. Okay, that's out. Cut that shit out. You gotta watch your shit. You gotta walk right up until they tell that motherfucker at the doctor's office he might be diabetic, bitch. That's when you can start eating. Okay, when he when they tell him uh, things gonna slow down a bit. Bitch, that's when you get fat, okay? You don't get fat before that. Before that, bitch, you better match them holes in the street. You better... If, don't let the neighbor be stacked, bitch. You better get out there and walk with her. You better do something. Okay? What you don't want to do <clears throat> is be sitting up there fat, stanky, and funky with your nappy head complaining about why you looking at this? Why you looking at that? Girl, shit, I got up every day and I walked six miles. I had my shorts pulled all the way up in the crack of my ass for all the neighbors. What, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I guess she just be entertaining uh, Mr. Sappho at this point. You see how he be laughing at her? Hey, as hey, as, if, if he's happy, uh, we happy, right? If he like it, we love it. We just know Carlissa ain't ish, all right? And I guess they just ain't ish together, okay? So, hey, good for them, okay? She is. She a bad bitch, and these niggas looking too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got to remind they ass, girl. See, this is work. This is, You got to strategize. You can't just be... <laughs> She's just the truth, man. She's just the truth. Babe, I don't. Man, one thing I don't do is lie. I didn't get up and walk every morning with my shorts dug all the way up in my booty like I'm about to do next month when I drop this 20 pounds. No. Don't be lying now. I did my homework and my research, bitch. It took me three husbands, but I figured it out. Don't fucking take no husband around no badass kids. <laughs> if your kids is bad, you wait till them motherfuckers are sleeping. You know if you got baby kids or not. Andre used to come downstairs when I had company and show him she got a weave in her hair. She got weave. Like, why you hating nigga? This nigga got a job. Why you gonna show him I got fake hair? Girl, I've been through hell with these kids. So I'm when y'all see me not giving a fuck, just know. It's a reason. I'm gonna take all this on tour, so make sure y'all get ready to sign up. Cause I ain't gonna never tell no lie. My my our, my life been uh, <laughs> He's just stressed <laughs> Which part? All of this shit. Which part? The dish liquid? Because I put the dish liquid in the bitch food. You just don't want her to know? Probably still talk to her. That's why you don't want her to know she ate dish liquid. You didn't see me. Oh, my God. You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? 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 You keep talking, man. And you shut the fuck up. Huh? 
<laughs> you put that dawn in that bitch hot dog. Yeah, you showed me. Yeah, we fought over the hot dog. You know I ain't lying. Don't play with me. We don't sell hot dogs no more. Who give a fuck? <laughs> she said, bring your act to Minnesota. Girl, I'm about to drop these 20 pounds and put my um, pants back in my booty. <laughs> my husband's starting to get a fan base on the Patreon, y'all. I had. I said, hold on now. These some cute bitches over here talking about Mr. Sappho. So funny. No, he ain't, bitch. That's me. <laughs> I'm writing his comedy. She over there talking about, I see y'all in the comments. And he be over there reading them on the big screen. <laughs> she talking about me. Okay. I'm going to drop this 20 pounds and see if they talking about me. Because you know they ain't in the comments talking about, <laughs> the mom is so funny. <sighs> you need to do stand-up comedy. Girl, I'm trying. I'm working on it, y'all. My first audience. I'm working on it. He been telling me to do it since I met him. He be laughing in the middle of the night. He be laughing. I promise. <sighs> Soon as I fart. <laughs> Soon as you fart, just be saying anything, y'all. You are a goofy no, bitch. No, that's not true. You keep talking, man, and you shut the fuck up, huh? October 12, 2015. Yes. Okay. Um, and uh, have you been changed in any way for you, uh, based on what's in front of you? No. Okay. Uh, Your Honor, at this time, the state now moves to admit. <laughs> <laughs> I start my I start my comedy act off in the middle of the night, like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Okay, I gotta walk up this hill, and I ain't no professional yet, cause I'm only on day two, and I'm already out of breath. So, I love y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow for the hour walk. Okay? Say bye, Mrs. Sappho. They say you so funny. Hold on. Make sure y'all can't see my street. Say bye, babe. But you ain't supposed to like hit no kids in their mouth. So Callie's lip was leaking. His head was leaking. So you know how Popo do when you a woman. Like <laughs> it is what it is. You should have kept your hands to yourself. And when she says stop spitting on her, stop spitting on her mama. You should have just tucked your tail and went on upstairs. You know, because Drayden already got Callie. Like yeah, y'all get the point though. Um, Carlissa, you're an unstable creature. Full of women, cuz. House full of sensitive ass females. Dealing with they damn hormones. Y'all some unstable creatures. See, I ain't gonna say the B word. I'm gonna say unstable creatures. It's my new word. So that was a day in the life of Carlissa, and we're just learning uh that she exposed Blueface, Dre, and Callie, okay, to all sorts of trauma as uh as kids and teenagers, right? So, um, y'all, I'm, I'm, I literally don't even know what to say at this point. All right. Carlissa just being Carlissa and oh my Lord. Okay.